ever wonder where you'd land if you fell so deep into sleep down the rabbit hole of your dreams to a place beyond imagination and beneath the subconscious where the very fabric of reality unravels. Our story begins with Molly. You see, life had kicked her around and now she found herself falling down a dark and endless hole. She should be here any minute now. Ouch! Gotta work on that landing. What the? Where did I? Hello there. Where'd you come from, little girl? Um, I fell down. From... I don't actually know. Where am I? If I squint my eyes, I, I feel like I recognize that face. Uh, come up to my burrow so I can have a closer look at you. Uh, I'll put the kettle on. Yeah, this is normal. At the bottom of a dark hole. And a talking mole just invited me over for tea. Maybe I could grab one of those roots and climb. Although she couldn't use the roots to climb, they did help her get a better look at things. Now, try grabbing two at the same time. Very good. We're all rooting for you, Molly. <sighs> How will I get across? It is, indeed, a pressing issue. Right. Huh. What's that thing up there? Some kind of picture. She thought she better keep it safe in her journal. I suppose I should start writing some of this down. In case I forget. I guess the only way to go is up. The only way to go is up. A reassuring thought when you've just hit rock bottom. And soon Molly came up to the welcoming doorstep of a cozy burrow. I'll keep this in my journal. Mr. Mole. So Mole is his actual surname? And Mr. his first name? Sounds like something a kid would make up. Ah, you're here! Come in, come in! a good year for Merlot. Huh, looks like musical notes. A child's handwriting. I have to remember this for later. 
Now, let's have a look at you. Hmm, that seemed to best place my glasses. Oh, I'm blind without them. <laughs> Would you help me look? I wonder what's up here. I think my grandpa used to read me that book. These must be the mole's glasses. Ah, <laughs> oh, you found my glasses! Ah, spectacular! Now, let's see it. Just as I thought. It's you! Dear Molly! Oh, you're finally back in Underland! Wait, do you know me? Well, of course I know you. You used to come here all the time when you were younger. We went on all sorts of adventures together. You really don't recognize your old pal, Mr. Mole? I guess there's something familiar about you. About all of this. But it's like a dream I've forgotten. Well, I guess I made less of an impression than I thought. Hmm, you must have banged your head pretty hard. A and you don't remember how you got it. Beats me. It's almost like Underland pulled you down. Oh, strange. Maybe if we go on one of our adventures, it will all come back to you. An adventure? I'm not sure if I'm cut out for something like that. I'd probably just screw it up. You're saying no to an adventure? Well, that's not a Molly I used to know. I appreciate the offer, but could you just tell me how to get out of this place? Well, if you're in such a hurry to leave, I won't keep you. But the door back to your world has been closed for ages. I will need to get the old under engine up and running. And that engine won't run without a power plant to fuel it. What kind of engine is this anyway? Why, it's a Theta Wave Transmitting Occipital Cortex Reactor, of course. How could you forget that? But it runs on a special kind of weed called Willpower Plant. I hid it away to keep it safe. In a place so clever, uh, not even I can find it. You mean, you lost it? No, 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 I, uh, I hid it. I just uh, can't remember where. Uh, go check in the storage room. I might have lost, uh, I mean, hid the power plant back there. Uh, when you found it, take the elevator up to the machine room. Wait, where are you going? I'll wait for you in the machine room. Left all alone in this strange place, the girl was overcome with a feeling of... That's right. The girl was overcome with boredom. Nothing seemed to excite her, and every step felt like an insurmountable climb going nowhere. Geez, it's not that bad. What kind of fairy tale is this anyway? Float like a butterfly. Sting like the realization that you will never be excited for anything again. I need to find that willpower plant before I take the elevator. We have to remember the good times, and the bad. Mr. 
Mr. Mole really left these all over the place. Of course the door is steam powered. Why not? Pretty good at this. I see the willpower plan up there. He just had to put it on the highest shelf. I should keep writing things down along the way. Keep it with my journal. <laughs> Maybe these levers affect the ladders. Yeah, 
That should do the trick. Just finding the plant seemed to cure some of the girl's boredom, and she even felt excited as she headed back to the elevator to meet Mr. Mole in the machine room. Why would some old plant make me feel better? Plants are actually proven to help reduce stress. Well, I don't think self-medication is a great idea. I'm, of course, talking about owning house plants. If you say so. You found the willpower plant. Great work, Molly. Plant is growing. I feel stronger already. machine is broken! Malfunctioning! Completely kaput! It seems to be missing its four most vital parts. Can you fix it? Maybe try turning it off and on again? There's no fixing this with bolts and screws. Those machine parts are completely irreplaceable and hold immense power. The heart valve, the iron compass, and the quantum ring. And the steam governor. Somebody must have stolen them. So, somebody broke in? When did this happen? The other night, I woke up and heard a bunch of clanking and banging. And I saw someone running off. I didn't think much of it then, but that must have been the thief. Did you see where the thief went? When I came out to find the source of the ruckus, he got scared. All I saw was a flap in the wings before he hurried off towards the old diamond mine. Come to think of it, must have been the engine overloading that pulled you down into Underland. So this thief is the reason I'm stuck down here? I'm really sorry, Molly. Without those machine parts, you'll be stuck here forever. This sounds like a real whodunit. Kind of exciting. How about I take a look in the diamond mine and ask around for a thief with wings? See if I can't solve this mystery. That sounds more like the Molly I know. Take the elevator up to the mine. 
If you can find this winged thief and get the machine part back, we'll be able to send you home. Okay, here I go. Into a dark mine to catch a dangerous thief with wings. I guess I'm going on an adventure after all. <laughs>